Hi, beautiful. I want to make it known that you do not have to have a lot of money to have a nice wig. You just need these things to create the magic. We are going to take a $16 wig I bought off Sheen and transform it into a very luxurious looking human haired wig. And hopefully it goes as planned. But you know what? Not everything in my life has gone to plan. So hopefully this is one of them that does. I used to play with synthetic wigs all the time and just learn how to make them look better. I've learned from so many different creators on YouTube and TikTok, different tips and techniques on how to make this hair look and feel real. I'm gonna show you guys everything I've learned all in today's video. So if you wanna learn on how to make a synthetic wig look fresh as f you've come to the right place. So let's do it. We're gonna breathe new life with cut, color, a couple of different hot water treatments. Who knows what else we'll do? With that said, let me show you the wig. Here she is, you guys. It may have been stuffed in my closet for a few weeks, so it's a little ratted. We can work with it. So she's like not the worst wig ever, but not the best wig ever. Basically, she has this sort of like A-line bob going on. The hair is synthetic. She has this side bang going on that I'm not really a fan of. The hair just feels not great. So I'm thinking about really modernizing this whole look. And also it has no lace. This is just a plastic scalp, but I have to say that the plastic scalp actually looks like my scalp which is kind of nice. So there is no lace in this wig. It is all just wefts um, sewn onto a cap. We are gonna make it look like it's the baddest, sexiest wig ever by probably just bringing like that modern style into it, cutting off this A-line moment going on. Like I wanna keep it like at the chin, but I also wanna make the hair wavy. So I might not cut off too much length. That way when it's wavy, it kind of sits at the chin. I wanna add a little root on there to make it look more realistic and add a little bit of depth onto this part to make it look like it kind of goes on my scalp and is like going in. I also feel like the bangs are the worst part. They look very costumey. I don't know if we need to do like a, like a middle part, you know, shred up the bangs a bit, but it needs something. It needs a lot of something and it's gonna get It's gonna be awesome. This wig is going to be transformed. It's gonna look so beautiful. So let's begin transforming this wig with a little bath. I'll show you what I mean. So we are going to begin by giving this hair a little wash. This cleanses the wig and releases any kind of tangles you have in the hair. Now, because this hair is plastic, we're just washing the surface off. So we're gonna put this hair into hot water. We're now gonna add some laundry detergent. That way it can cleanse the hair fibers of any kind of oil, dirt, and grease. And we're gonna add some fabric softener because fabric softener is basically a conditioner for synthetic fibers. I don't know if that's true, but uh, it sounds true, so I'm gonna go with it. So we're gonna dunk that in there, let that sit for 10 minutes, and we're gonna bring that into the studio and start working on the haircut. I'm back, she's freshly washed. I like to cover my blocks with plastic, that way they don't get moldy and nasty with like wet hair. You know, you don't want that. Oh, and her hair feels so good. It smells like laundry and I love it. We're gonna give her a haircut now. Oh. Wig flu. So. Hi, miss. I am going to give you a little haircut today. What are we thinking? The A-line isn't that bad. I do almost want it like chin length when it's wavy. We're gonna need to get rid of a little hair. I think the most important part though here is gonna be fix these bangs. Thinning shears are your best friends for wigs. When there's just too much hair on the head, it doesn't look realistic. You don't wanna go for the wigs with the most density. I know it's tempting and I know what people think more is more, but with wigs, more is not more. I actually think the less hair a wig has, the more realistic it looks typically. I am gonna take just my regular scissors here and I am just going to trim off, I don't know, just like an inch of hair, all right? So we're just gonna go around and you honestly don't need to make it that perfect because what happens with wigs is depending on what, on whose head it's going on, the wig will change lengths, it will look a little lopsided if people have, you know, lumpy heads, depending on how the person's head is shaped, the haircut will mimic that. So even if you do a, a very straight haircut right now on the wig block, the haircut is going to be totally different by the time you put it on somebody's head. So don't worry too much about making it perfectly even, you try your best. And this brings me to my next point. I just realized that I was using my extremely expensive shears to cut this synthetic hair. Don't do that. 
that. You will ruin your shears. Um, I just have these really crappy ones and hopefully I didn't just ruin my other ones. Should I make this shorter? And let's always remember with wigs, hair can be shortened, but it can't be lengthened. So be careful. I think this length looks a lot more modern, a lot sexier, and a lot cooler. So I think this is where I'm gonna keep it, just right below the chin with that little cropped bob moment. Now that I have trimmed the length to something a little more modern and stylish, we're gonna do something that anybody can do, even if you don't have a short wig, and it is giving the hair face framing layers because most hair that is this light and most hair in general has some shorter length in the front just naturally from heat damage, sun damage. Not many people have healthy, healthy hair right at the front of their head. Most of the time, this is the most fragile hair and it gets the most damage from the sun and from heat tools. So usually you have shorter pieces around the face. We're gonna pull the hair down like this, comb it down, and just start taking a little bit of hair out like that. As you slide down the hair, you're just taking little munches out. We're gonna also extend these bangs out a bit more because I feel like they're really in my face and um, my face is not as small as this one is, I guess. <laughs> Now this next part you can do on dry hair as well as wet hair. Dry hair, you can see it visually a little bit better what you're doing, but I want to style the hair while it's wet, so I'm not gonna dry it beforehand because I'm not gonna wet it again and it's gonna be annoying, but you can do it either way. I am going to thin out the hair with some thinning shears. This is really important to making a wig look more realistic because most of the time people's ends are not this thick and this healthy. So you need to give it a little bit of damage. That damaged look is always good. Also adding just a little bit inside here like that um, that was a lot <laughs> but that's gonna give her a little bit of these shorter layers that way it looks like she has almost like a little bit of a sort of like chemical cut going on um, which is most of the time very natural for uh, blondes to have unfortunately um, people that are this blonde usually their hair is not perfectly healthy so you gotta add a little bit of texture in there to just make it look like it's not so perfect we're trying to imperfect this perfect hair to give it more life and more texture and more realism. So I'm just going in there about two or three inches from the bottom of the hair and I'm just taking some of that weight out and removing it. I could give her like an entire haircut and give her layers and all this stuff, but because her hair is short, I'm not gonna be doing that today. And my goal really is to just show you uh, easy tricks you can do to make the hair look better and not going too in depth with how to cut a wig. If you guys would like to see that, I can totally make a video about that though. And I'm just going in pretty randomly and just taking that bulk out, baby. Let's get rid of a little more up here maybe. The hair is the most fine and most fragile around the face, so we're gonna do that. I feel like the fringe is too long to look modern, so why don't we bring it up? See, with wigs, it's all about tweaking as you go. I'm gonna get rid of a little more weight and we'll move on to the next step. Ooh. Yes, mama. Like imagine just the fringe, just like really lightly waved. You know, I'm starting to see the vision come alive here. Oh, I'm getting excited. Okay. We've reached the styling segment and the best way to style a wig in my opinion is with some boiling water. You can use um, a curling iron or a flat iron at a low heat setting. It will be fine for the hair. However, I think it looks a little bit better when you use boiling water and you do like some styling here. So what I'm gonna do, I want our hair to be softly waved, like a very realistic looking wave. And I'm gonna braid her hair in very large, chunky sections. Now the braids are gonna give us that beachy, lived in vibe. So I'm gonna grab little hair elastics like this, and then I'm going to braid the hair. I'm just gonna take this entire section over here. If you want your waves to be super relaxed and loose, take huge sections, okay? This is going to be on the tighter side, but her hair is very short. So I'm gonna do very loose braids, not gonna be too concerned with how perfect it is. I know it 
it looks crazy and dumb, but I swear it's gonna give her that beautiful like S pattern. And so now for this top layer, I'm actually gonna be doing a twist. This is also gonna make her hair wavy, but a little bit of a different wave. We want variation on our head, so everything's not matching up and perfect. And another braid back here. Make sure these are nice and tight. And that's one side complete. This wig is gonna be f cute as Oh, I already know that this is going to look way too good. Is there such thing, baby? That's too good. I don't know. Eh, 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 eh. I can't wait to pop my b in this wig. Eh, eh, eh. That is how I'm going to leave it. And we're now going to dip this head into boiling hot water. Now, of course, this wig is synthetic. So what that boiling water is going to do is reform the hair into the structure we just put it in. So it's gonna basically melt the hair a little bit and restructure it and harden it into this beautiful wave pattern that we just created with all of these braids. That's the goal at least. And as you can see, it's very random, very crazy. And I even left some hair out to be a little straighter. It's totally fine. I want that very lived in sexy texture. So let's go do that. As you can see, I am pouring my boiling hot water into a bowl in the sink and being very careful with it because you do not want to burn your entire hand off. Please be careful. Put it real deep in that water and let that sit for like five minutes. If it has longer hair, if it's thicker hair, maybe a little bit longer, like 10 minutes is good. And then once it's done, just take it out and put it in a towel and just get that water out of there. Hi guys. So I have put this cap onto this wig. It is still wet from the boiling water treatment we did. We'll call it that little treatment, even though we just basically burned our hair. I am obsessed with this thing. It'll be linked below. I love a hood dryer attachment. It is so nice because with wigs, it takes so long to dry them, especially lace wigs. So this is gonna dry it really nice. I like to put my dryer at a low setting that way it doesn't burn the hair or do anything crazy or maybe catch this on fire or something like that. I don't know. The f drew. <laughs> what did I do? You looked at me and the f thing fell. <laughs> look, what you just, look what you just did. I didn't do anything. Now that the hair has been dried enough, it is not fully dry. I could have left it in here longer, I'm gonna be honest with you, but we need to move the f on. So I'm going to dry the rest of the way with a diffuser. You can also just let the hair air dry if you do not have this attachment and do not want to buy it. Air drying the hair is totally fine. It just takes a very long time, like hours. So we're gonna undo this and it's gonna look a lot better when we shake it out, but see that natural wave we have? Ooh, it looks so good. We're focusing on not putting volume on the top of the head because the more volume you have up here, the more it's gonna look like a fake wig. You want it to look flat, that way it looks like it's actually growing from your scalp. I'm gonna add just a little bit of hairspray to make sure this look lasts. And by a little, I mean just as much as possible. <laughs> She is looking cute, but she could look even cuter. So we're gonna push it to the max. We're gonna add some dry shampoo just to mattify her hair a little bit. I'm using my Club Kid dry shampoo. And we're just gonna dust a bit of that on the top of the hair. Amazing. It is looking so much more natural, so much sexier. I love this fringe, the way it dried, super natural. The next step is going to be to give it a little bit of root shadow. I am using this temporary color. Um, it is in the shade dark brown, and you have to be so careful with this. I like to use a toothbrush while I do this. So I'm gonna be spraying really lightly onto the hair. I feel like it's a little bit too blown out, a little bit too blonde for my liking, and I want more depth in the hair. So I'm gonna be doing a root shadow on her. So we're just gonna lift up the first section. And that is what that looks like. And now while it's still wet, you can just comb it in with the toothbrush. And now you have a gorgeous root shadow. And we can even go right onto the top of the head and do a little sprinkle. And that is that side all complete. The root shadow just gave it a little bit of depth and I love it. It looks so much better. I'm just gonna give it another spritz with hairspray because I'm loving this look. I think the root shadow gives it so much more life. 
And I'm just gonna lock it in with the hairspray. Maybe a little bit of salty, just to add some more texture. Maybe it's just a little more texturizing. Now at the end, once we're done, we can just add a little bit of texture in there. And by a little, I mean always a lot. That completes the full transformation. I'm gonna put this on my head and show you guys the finished result. Ah, I can't wait to put this on my head. I love this wig. I don't give a what you say. It's like punky, it's cool. If I was wearing like a good makeup moment, if I was an actual female, I feel like I would really embody this wig right now. Like maybe a little smoky eye, something to really spice it up. I love the texture. I feel like the texture really brought this wig to the next level and made it look very realistic. Like if you didn't know who I was and I was walking the street like this, you wouldn't think twice that this is a synthetic wig. It looks like it's growing from the scalp, baby girl. So after a hair a haircut, a hair styling, a hair washing, a root shadowing. We have something that looks modern and realistic and something that you really can't buy online for a synthetic wig. Like getting this beachy texture in synthetic wigs is so hard. If you want something like this, you're gonna have to do it yourself and it's not that hard and you can do it easily just by braiding, boiling the hair and doing a little hair styling and it makes it look so much more modern and so much more realistic. We lost that really like shiny quality to the synthetic hair as well. Um, it's not tangled, it's super soft, super light. We got rid of like an inch and a half. I feel like a different person in it and I love it. So I hope you guys could learn something about how to make a synthetic wig look like it's worth way more. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and just be a and that's all. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Also, I click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you'd like to follow me everywhere else, here are my social media handles all around me. Go for it. I have a hair care and a color line. It is called X Mondo. You can shop my hair color and my hair care right down below. This is super red and super orange mixed together to make this really intense, bright, bright, bright. Red. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagrams at Xmondo Hair for hair care and at Xmondo Color for color. You can check out my merch. This is it. It's so damn cute. It is linked below for you, or you can go to xmondohair.com. Make sure you guys text me at this number right here. It is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages, and yes, I'll be replying to some of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Nadia, and she says, Hi, Brad. Hope you're all right. So my 18th birthday is coming, and I want to do something new to my hair, add some color. I don't know. I've bleached my hair, but I want to change. My hair is curly, like coily, so I'd love a suggestion. Thank you. I feel like you should do a color. Like, I'm feeling purple would really look good on your skin, or like a very deep red. Either one of those would look amazing on you, as well as, honestly, I don't know if you're trying to grow your hair out or what you're doing, but going shorter, I think, would look super cute. Like, with a bang, <gasps> with your curls, yes, it would look so good. If you end up doing that, I would love to see it, and good luck, and happy birthday, by the way. That's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>